Hi everybody, welcome to Arabella's Reading Corner. Happy Easter. Today we will be reading How to Be a Big Bigger Bunny. Tickles the bunny yawned. It was time to get out of bed. She called to her bunny family. Nibbles, wiggles, jiggles, giggles, jiggles. But nobody answered. Not again. Her brothers and sisters had gone on another adventure without her. Well, she thought, I'll just read my new book instead. So that's um, Tickles getting out of bed. That's her holding her new book. How to Be a Bigger Bunny was filled with adventure stories that Tickle loved to read. The first story, Never Give Up, was about a little bunny just like her who wanted to climb a very tall tree. The tree was so tall, the little bunny didn't know if she could ever get to the top. Okay, that's her reading her new book. The story showed how important it is to keep trying and to never give up. Tickles fell asleep and in her dream, she climbed a very tall tree. When you never give up, you can do amazing things. So that's her asleep and that's Tickles on the tree. When Tickles woke up, her bunny family still wasn't home, so she read another story. How to be like a pirate. She showed her how to act and talk boldly, so she practiced being a pirate too. Arr! Ahoy, matey! Wow. And while Tickles was reading, how to think your way out of tricky places, which had good advice about nimbling. Her bunny family was hopping right into a log on the hillside. The log was big and hollow. All of a sudden, she heard crash. Uh-oh, said Tickles. I wonder what that was. Okay, so that's Tickles' family hopping into a big hollow log. The sun was setting and the bunnies had been gone all day. Nibbles, wiggles, tickles call, called, giggles, jiggles. Nobody answered, so, tickle, so Tickles hopped off to look for them. Hello, Tickles called. Hello, is anybody there? Nothing. She called out again. There was still no answer. She listened carefully and guess what? She heard thumping. Okay. Wonder where the thumping came from. Just then, she saw a log on the hillside, and it was shaking. In her best pirate talk, Tickles yelled, Ahoy there! Soon she spotted something pink and twitching, just like a bunny nose. It was a bunny nose. Twitch, twitch, thump, thump. Help, cried her bunny family. A rock rolled down the hill and were trapped. Tickles touched noses with wiggles. Don't worry, said Tickles. I'll push that rock away and save you. I wonder if she'll succeed. First, she pushed, she pushed the rock. Ouch! Then she tried again. Oof! I know, she said. I'll hop on top of the rock and it will roll away. She climbed a tree just like in her dream. Whee! She squealed. She thought she would land on the rock, but oops, Tickles lost her balance. Uh-oh. So that's her trying to shove the rock out of the way. Now with her hind legs, 
Now she's jumping on it. Now she lost her balance. Oof. She doesn't get a really bad injury. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up, she told herself. Then she remembered the story in her book. How to think your way out of tricky places. And the part about nibbling your way out of trouble. Oh. So she nibbled, and she nibbled, and she nibbled, but it wasn't enough. Well, I can see uh, where the bunny now. After a rest, Tickles nibbled again as fast as she could. Finally, Bill's face appeared. Then came his floppy ears. Soon Wheels hopped out, and right behind him were Giggles, Nibbles, and Jiggles, too. Oh, I'm glad Chickles was able to nibble her way out of um, problem. Yay for Tickles! You saved us, they shouted. You are the smartest, said Wiggles. Bravest, said Giggles. Biggest, said Jiggles. Best buddy of all, said Nibbles. And they hop and they all hopped home together. That night, Tickles dreamed she was a super bigger bunny, saving her bunny family from danger everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this Easter book.